Hello and welcome. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is a start to a new series. I am looking forward to um, to sampling out some of the other pagan playthroughs. I just wrapped up the Norse Norse type thing, and I was considering Suomenusko, Tengri, perhaps the West Africans, and uh, even Slavic. I mean, we have a lot of a lot of choices in here. So, I think what I want to do is um, this isn't going to be like a couple hundred episodes or anything like that. I want to just sample it. and So it is a Let's Play, but it's not like the indefinite Let's Play that continues on forever and ever. Um, so I'm thinking more like maybe a, 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 like a, a predetermined goal. Like perhaps, I don't know, reforming the faith, that's more of a long-term type thing. Maybe just playing to a fixed date would work. Or perhaps instead of a fixed date, just a fixed goal, like trying to get to, say, Emperor tier. Now naturally, got to start off very in a very weak position. And so this playthrough is going to be, I'm going to do West Africans. I want to try them out. I really like their, their, uh, their retinue is kind of cool. And also they have the, um, the pretty buildings. They're pretty. So we have to decide who to play as. Um, I think I'd rather be weak, like nin just a single count. Single count, like usual. Very, very weak start. We'll have to do a lot of work. I don't want it to be too easy to just create an empire. So let's be the Count of Bambuk. 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 And uh, should we do the ruler designer? Um, hmm. I don't... He's 26. He's young enough. Let's just play as this guy. And let's see where we end up. So, what have we? Okay, so here's some of the notable things about the West African pagans. Our culture is West African, also known as Mande. Uh, we have the religion called West African. It's just, it's, you know, it's very clear it's West African. Some of the bonuses that we get is very similar to every other pagan faction. Low-tech, non-tech, uh, low-tech non-pagans have very low supply limits in all of our counties. They can declare subjugation wars against all other pagans. That's something I can do. We can't change from Gavilkind succession. We cannot do anything, any holy wars, until we reform the faith. We're very poor at conversion, and we're vulnerable to non-pagan missionaries. We get massive defensive bonuses in West, A West African pagan counties, and uh, we can reform it. So, let's talk about some of those bonuses. You'll notice here that even though I have a levy of 225 men, we have a garrison of 405. And that's because we're a defensive religion, so no matter what, we get a 40% increased garrison size. And if the religion of the county matches my religion. So for instance, the culture and the religion, actually, excuse me, it's just religion that matters. If the religion of the county is West African, we get an additional 40% on top of it. Now, it's not multiplicative, unfortunately, it's just additive, so 80% increased levy. Um, let me check that, actually, just for the sake of being clear and correct. 225 times 1.8 is 405. Yep, I'm correct, it's additive. So you take those two numbers, add them together, then multiply it by the base. So we end up at uh, 405 garrison. That might not seem like a big deal, but here's the thing. Remember, non-pagans have a 95% reduction in supply limit. So for instance, let's say that this big old baddie here, right here, it's the Sultan blah, 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 wants to come attack us. He might have a massive army. I mean, he's got you know 3,500 men, and he could probably pretty easily take us but he can't even put more than like 500 men in our counties. And because of the massive garrison bonus, like every single holding at the very beginning of the game already has 620, 630 men defending it. So it's, it's like almost impossible for an upgraded West African county to be sieged. They just can't put, I mean, they will be over the supply limit just trying to siege the holding. So that'll be kind of neat. Uh, the other thing that I like is the retinue. So if we take a look at the retinue, we have something called a free warrior retinue. And this is one of the only retinues I've found in the game that has a lower retinue cap usage than the skirmisher retinue. It only takes 500 retinue cap. And the troop type is kind of poor. Like light infantry is the weakest of all troops. Archers are okay though. And the thing is that these, since it's a cultural, this is actually a cultural retinue, um, they have modifiers. They have extra damage and extra defense. So they're better than regular, and they're super, super cheap. They're the cheapest retinue out there, and you can get tons and tons of men. You get literally one man for every one retinue cap, where you take something like this one, takes up 900 retinue caps, so you're only getting 500 men per 900 retinue cap. 
it's not nearly as good. Or even worse, something like this, where you have like 1,200 retinue cap. Sure, these troops are better, but when it comes to things like assaulting and sieging and, and just all that crap, raiding, which we can raid, don't forget we can raid, um, having more men can be very useful. So we can only have 18 right now, because we're very, very weak, but uh, let's see what we can start off as. Cool, I'm a holy warrior. My name is Chief Suomaru of Bambuk, of House Bambuk. Uh, let's check out our dynasty. It's just me. I have no heir, no nothing, so if we die, then we're just kind of screwed. My liege is probably going to try to murder me, because he is, uh, I believe he starts off beneath his uh, domain limit. No, he actually has too much. He needs to give away some land. All right, so we shouldn't be murdered, hopefully, then. Oh, and there's an attractive girl. Let's let's take this attractive diviner, chief diviner. We'll lose a little, bit, little tiny bit of prestige for that, but uh, that's okay. And hopefully I can still select the Get Married Ambition, since we're about to do it. And I am playing with my keyboard shortcuts mod. If you're not familiar with that, it's in the description of pretty much every video I've ever made. So feel free to download it. I, you have to play with it. If you haven't used it, you're missing out. It's just foolish to not use at this point. Um, since I am a huge fan of s technology, I am going to go and study technology. And then we'll push the home button, go back home. And what do we want to do? Probably improve relations with my liege, who lives here. I don't want him to do anything like try to kill me. You know, that wouldn't be cool. And since we have only one county, we definitely need to train troops. Um, we're count, so we don't really get to play too much with technology. Say hello to my neighbor, by the way, if you can hear him in the background. Noisy old man. Um, and I suppose, do I even have a, do I have a seer in my county? Yeah, I do have a temple, so let's improve relations with him. Uh, he's actually going to go and talk to himself in the corner. He's going to try to make himself feel better about things since he is both my chief diviner and the only chief. Is that what he's called? He's called a priest. He's called a priest. So he's my only priest, and we're trying to make him feel better about being my priest. Uh, I'm not going to change laws. It doesn't matter yet. We really won't be able to do anything with technology for a while. But, um, yes, if we raise our levy, you'll see that we still do... Oh, no, never mind. I am I am totally wrong. We are not a looting race. Not, not a looting culture. Religion. Gosh, I, I know what I'm talking about, I swear. So, um, never mind, we don't get to raid, but we get some excellent bonuses, and, uh, I don't know, still be fun. So let's see what we can do. Alright, he's granted me, uh, oh, he, he's granted me an extra county. Woo, that was pretty easy. So he was over his domain limit and decided that, um, the best way to do it would be to reward me. What is your opinion of me, anyway? It's only at seven. He's not that happy with me, but, uh, apparently I'm, I'm the proper guy. It's probably the same duchy would be my guess. Yeah. So his primary holdings are all in this duchy. He had to give away some land that was outside of his duchy, and he just just, just picked me. Picked me over these guys. That's awesome. Well, that's an easy start. Now this game's going to be too easy. All right, so we've got an extra priest des now. We've also got another city. We've also got this barony. And unfortunately, the train troops modifier only increases your levy. It doesn't increase your garrison. The only way to increase this garrison and really take advantage of our modifiers would be to upgrade it. So we'll probably try to do that pretty early on. We'll take the prestige, since it cost me 100 to get married. We filled our ambition to get married. Now we need a new one. Probably a good idea to become... to get a son. Although... You know what? Let's try to improve intrigue. That extra 100 prestige from getting to, to level 8 would really help out with the opinion of everyone in our realm. And also, I'm going to need intrigue so that I can murder my liege. Because, you know, ugh, we just have to do that. I can't create this duchy because it put me at the same tier as my liege. So he either needs to create it, or he needs to become the king of Mali, and then he can, then I'll be able to create it since he'll be a higher, higher level. Now, I can plot to kill him. His heir is me, so this would be a good idea. I don't know why I'm his heir, but let's do it. No one wants him dead. Damn. Well, mm, let's just keep it, see if maybe maybe soon we'll get some, some opinion. I don't have a claim to it, do I? Nope. But I'm pretty good marshal. You should make me your marshal so I have more plot power. That'd be nice of you. Okay, so come on. Spit out a what? Spit out a kid, woman. Some Wally has already been imprisoned. Uh, I can't really attack anybody. Um, I can't attack him because uh, I don't have a valid cast of spell eye. There's already an independence faction, apparently. I really don't want independence, though. 
I don't think that that'd be wise. I want to try to destroy him from the inside out. And now I have to consider, since I do have some extra vassals, does it make sense to change a law right now? What do we need the most of? Well, I'd say that money is good, because then I can upgrade my holdings, but troops are also good. Although upgrading my holdings is more of a permanent advantage, where opinion is temporary. Opinion meaning, you know, using opinion to give me more troops. What's the religion tab look like? Eh, nothing fancy. About the same as the Norse. Well, I own both. I own all the castles, so the top two tax laws here don't matter at all. Hmm. I am getting slightly lower taxation from this mayor, since he's unhappy with me. Let's go ahead and give out some of our honorary titles. Master of the Bow. Sure, why not? You can be my champion. And my cupbearer. No titles left to give her. We'll make this guy Master of the Blade. And that just does it, about does it for opinion. So now we're getting full taxation. You just have to be above zero opinion in order to get full taxation from people below you. Um, at least is this, this culture, this religion. So would it make sense to increase the... What to do? I mean, their levies are really crappy. It's light infantry and archers in the town. And, yeah, I guess I'd probably care more about income at this point. So I can upgrade my own holdings. Let's just do that. Let's see where we end up. So we lose a little bit of opinion with them, but now they're paying 45% taxation. So it's quite a bit more. Nearly doubled the amount of tax income I get from them. In fact, we're making more from the cities now than from my own holdings. Which is a good position to be in. Not much happening. Can we do like a hunt? Oh, we can. Excellent. Let's go get maimed. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that getting maimed is one of the first things that I always want to do, because my character always gets maimed. Hopefully the game doesn't end in just a moment, because I'll die. I'm too young to die. Alright, so it's the German League Independence War. Okay. Oh, see, great. See, I'm not, I'm not going to take Craven. Let's go get maimed. Hey, we didn't get maimed. Wonderful. Alright, so he's already fighting against that guy. I can declare war on him. He is He's not part of our realm anymore, so I'm able to do the subjugation of Mali, Cassus Belli, just like most pagans. No, doesn't really make sense. Let's just try to... Let's do some plotting. And let's go on another grand hunt. I have a feeling that some of these characters will start being more open to plotting if I can get some extra prestige and piety. Should I try getting maimed? We'll take the piety. Right? Like, for example, I thought there was a character that looked more... Yeah, like, this guy could be bribed, I think. Not a lot of plot power from him, but... Is it worth sending him 20 gold? I think so. Let's try it. Yeah. All it takes is one backer. We'll go on another grand hunt, can we? Nope, it's already after November. We don't really seem to have like a blute or a blot like uh, some of the other religions do. We don't really have anything fancy. So, you know, 75% plot power is not much, but it could happen. Let's see, anyone else feel like joining in? Eh, maybe. I think I just need to get as much prestige as possible. Like, if I could improve my my intrigue, that'd make a big difference. Hopefully we don't get caught and put in prison. And hopefully he doesn't have a kid soon. Is his wife pregnant? Not yet. And again, neither's mine. Mm -hmm. So 280 men from this one. Only 225. Our levy is very small. Yeah, he's going to win his own war pretty easily. 
Since I came to Ghana, we have never had a shortage of... Oh, am I already the marshal? I am. Apparently I'm doing a good job raising troops for my liege. I am here. I am doing the job that my marshal's doing. Training troops. I'm probably doing a very good job. Levy multiplier. Train troops 47.5. He, I am awesome. My marshal sucks compared to me. Yay, pregnant wife. Ha, I got my wife pregnant before yours. Ha <laughs> ha. You're gonna die, man. Die. Chiefess of Gurma. Some woman got imprisoned. Uh-oh, you lost your wife, dude. Now that war's over, and he's in prison. Now I can no longer attack him. I could attack this guy, but he's probably got way more power than me. 602 men... Yeah, he's got more more troops than I do. It'd be a bad idea. Oh, he's inherited the sheikdom. How did he? How did this guy die? He was executed. That's clever. So he decided that um, <laughs> he must have been heir to the county, and he decided that the most la rational decision would just be to kill the man. Does that mean that I like him less because he's a tyrant? Yeah, I do. See, the AI will actually take tyranny penalties if it makes sense to them. Now he's at four holdings, and he's allowed to have four, so he'll probably hold on to that. Unless something happens putting him over his limit, in which case he will then potentially give me that county, since I've already got most of the titles in this duchy, the duchy of Mali. Uh, so that'd be nice. Then again, if I succeed in my murder plot, then we'll just get all of his land. I'd really like to get this guy, the spy master. But he likes his, uh, he likes his liege quite a bit. I'm worried I'm, I'm going to get caught. It's okay, though. My wife has a kid on the way. And we can play as a girl. So, Agnatic, Cogn Agnatic Cognatic allows you to play as a daughter. Oh, nice. At least she's quick. Nice. That's good. Right. Okay. Not a bad start, I guess. You have a little bit of gold. What kind of mercenaries are available? None. Okay, well it's even more important then that we just start building this stuff. I don't really care about fort level. I just want to build the... probably the militia training ground as soon as possible. This gives you 90 troops for 149 gold. It's way more troops than anything else. You know, you get 45 men from this one, 35. Although the free warrior lodge would be pretty good, but it's a lot of gold. Yeah, we just need the militia training ground. That'll really, really boost up the garrison, too. Think about it, 90 extra base troops? That's like a 50% increase. So that means that the garrison would go up by 50% as well. So you'd end up at like 600 in the garrison alone, plus about 300 in the, in the levy. So you'd already have 900 men defending the castle. That's a, that's a huge defense this, this early in the game. Right, okay, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely look forward to continuing this. Um, totally different than the Norse playthrough, and I'm excited to just try out the new, new Pagan playthroughs. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.